Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're excited to share this engaging conversation with you. Please note that this video was originally conducted in another language. The content you are about to watch has been translated using artificial intelligence tools. While we strive for accuracy, AI translations may not fully capture the original meaning, nuances, or cultural references. We continue to experiment with modern AI technologies and appreciate your understanding. We apologize for any potential misunderstandings. Can you tell me what myths exist regarding the implementation of CRM systems? Are there really such myths, something that stops people or on the contrary leads to key mistakes, what prevents people from moving forward, or perhaps some significant or even critical mistakes? The biggest deterrent is probably the cost. Entrepreneurs or business owners often feel that it is expensive and they are constantly trying to find free solutions. Such solutions do exist and they find them, but ultimately these free solutions do not meet the needs of the business. Here is a simple example. They take an open system for free, install it on their server, and it seems to be functioning for free. They implement it themselves. The vendors even make calls and leave comments. There is a client database. Then they decide, let's set up automatic lead capture from the website into the CRM. A programmer is needed for this. They hire one and he costs a certain amount per month. Then they think, let's add more features, integrate with the financial system. Let's integrate with other tools, for example, with IP telephony. However, their system lacks this functionality. The system does not support sending SMS. Another programmer is needed because the first one is not handling all the tasks. Now they have two programmers who are valued in the market, at least $1,000 each. Thus, they are already paying $2,000 per month for these programmers. Meanwhile, a system like Zoho CRM in its premium configuration, for 10 users, it costs $450, with updates being released almost daily, adding new features. The functionality, which was meticulously developed by their programmer, such platforms are constantly improving. Continuous enhancements are taking place. If you need specific customization, you simply pay the outsourcing company for one-time work and continue to work without issues. Paying $450 is not the same as $2,000. However, many still cannot come to terms with this thinking, but we have a free system. And now they have an IT department. But for the programmers to be effective, these two programmers, they do not work independently. They may be unmotivated and often insufficiently qualified because they were hired by HR. A manager is needed to oversee them, the IT director. The IT director will not work for $1,000. Therefore, the IT department's budget doubles. Then problems with the server arise. Due to a large number of clients or programmer errors, we understand that a system administrator is essential, or perhaps a virus has infiltrated the server. This is very risky. I have encountered situations where clients completely lost their entire database. A system administrator is needed either urgently in an emergency or on a permanent or temporary basis, adding another $350, $500 to our the budget if it is part-time or another $1,000 if it is full-time. Now we have an IT department with a budget of $5,000 per month and a free CRM system. Eventually, these people come to us and say, we need a more advanced CRM system. Let's implement a new one and remove the old one. We call this the migration budget. The response, it's expensive. But if you pay once, you won't be throwing away $5,000 every month. Instead, you pay $450. Or you can continue, so to speak, to stew in your own juice over and over again. We also not only implemented some open source systems, we developed our own. There are businesses with specific needs for which there are no ready-made solutions. We developed custom solutions. For example, in Moscow, I worked for four years in a company engaged in BTL marketing and developed a program that which manages large volumes of personnel with high turnover, promoters, auditors, merchandisers. She still works there. I am pleased because I was there for the last time in 2010, and it has been functioning without me for about 10 years. But this is a unique case. Such things happen.
But this is more of an exception than a rule, because everything is developing so quickly right now. The market is evolving, new technologies are emerging, social networks are expanding, and integrations, with AI changing so rapidly in the IT field, as well as lead generation methods. If you implement a system, today it can become outdated in just a month, because suddenly Elon Musk will launch a new AI or public Wi-Fi in space, providing everyone with wireless internet. Now even farmers in the fields can take photos, or merchandisers can work directly with the cloud. CRM, and you don't have any of this because your system installed a month ago doesn't support this. However, large companies such as leading CRM brands, Salesforce, Zoho CRM, or even HubSpot, monitor the market and respond very quickly to all these innovations, including changes in telephony, communication methods, and integration. Messengers, for example, Telegram. It didn't even exist about five years ago. Now, almost all systems integrate with Telegram because it is convenient and safe. In addition, the ability to create bots is very advanced. Therefore, I, I must emphasize that I am not promoting our way of working. I arrived at this conclusion through trial and error. I have worked in companies that develop their own software, in those that implement free software, and in those that use cloud solutions with monthly license payments. I concluded that the latter, the most successful and at the forefront, much closer to cutting-edge developments than the others. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. The link to the original video is in the first comment below. Tell me once you have any questions.